Hi there, my name is Erica and I decided to make this video for you um, on my transition so far to going grey. Um, I'm just about 11 months into my, my journey and um, it's been challenging for sure, uh, but not as hard as I thought it would be. Um, it, t it took me two t tries to do this and um, the second time I was really 100% ready. I started going grey when I was 16 um, and I had just a few silver hairs on top and of course at 16 nobody wants to go grey. So I started using, um, I think it was like herbal essences or something, some kind of uh, henna, um, very light, mild and kind of gave me sort of a reddish tint. So my hair underneath is still, still dark, like this is my natural color under here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but I had sort of, I guess, a red sort of wash to it. Um, as I got a little bit older, it started going silver a lot faster. And um, in my 20s, I started having to, to move from semi-permanent dye to uh, permanent color. And I was dyeing my hair probably every four weeks. Um, when I was uh, 24, I... I was in the military at the time and I went on a mission to Afghanistan and I can't believe I'm saying this but I actually brought dye with me hair dye <laughs> so um, yeah it's not something I'm proud of but in my 20s being gray was really really not something that I was ready for at all and you know I was in Afghanistan I didn't wear any makeup um, I, on my off hours, I dressed, you know, big t-shirts and bulky stuff, and but that was the one thing, actually two things, because I did my eyebrows too, <laughs> I plucked my eyebrows as well, but um, I, uh, yeah, I actually remember waking up at four in the morning because the sun would be up then, and there was one other woman, I remember her and I both met in the bathroom at the same time, and she was dying, her hair was way whiter than mine was. And um, yeah, so not one of my prouder moments, that's for sure. So in my early 30s, um, I was really getting tired of dyeing my hair every two weeks. Um, I just felt like my whole life revolved around dyeing my hair. And, you know, you'd be thinking, okay, what event do I have coming up? And you'd be looking at the calendar and it just felt like every single thing that I did revolved around dyeing my hair. And I know that sounds bizarre to anybody that that doesn't, but if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you you know what I'm talking about. Um, I just was tired of that, and I just wanted to go be a little bit more um, natural and free. I guess free is the word. So um, the person that probably was uh, had the most difficult time with the idea of me going silver was my husband. Um, so we've been together uh, for 11 years. <laughs> uh, 12 years this year and um, yeah he said no not until you're 40 so I'm 39 right now and two years ago I said that's it I'm done I can't do this any longer and in the summertime um, I decided to I do weird things with my hair I've always done different colors um, but I decided to uh, bleach my hair and I had my hair was probably down to here um, and I just bleached it all um, and of course you know the box says that you you know it'll be blonde when you bleach it but it, it isn't blonde it's uh, it's orange and my hair was was very orange um, and so I <laughs> my husband came home to the, I think the first round and he just looked at me like you're crazy what are you doing and um, so the next day I uh, bleached it again and I, I'm lucky I have really strong hair so uh, it basically was a lighter shade of orange and <laughs> didn't fall out thank goodness so I did that and then I realized that I needed to do some kind of toning um, and I decided to go and actually get uh, a permanent dye um, so I got ash blonde and it was it was good it wasn't that bad I actually didn't mind it um, but it was just a huge change from brunette to to that light of a blonde 
Um, so that was it. I thought, okay, now I'm going to just transition. And I lasted two months. So I just grew my hair out. I didn't do anything. I didn't spray the roots. I, I just let it grow. And of course, you know, I've got dark hairs in here, right? So that's what showed up essentially. So the dark hairs, I, I didn't like it. It didn't look very good. And then of course you got the silver too. It just, it just wasn't me and I wasn't feeling it. I don't think I was ready. So I went back to brunette again and I felt, um, when I did that, I felt like I made a huge mistake. Like I knew that I couldn't be dying my hair brown anymore. I don't know why, but it just, just felt really not right. And I didn't like it. I, I don't know. I just didn't, it felt matte. It didn't feel, I mean, obviously I bleached it so much too. Right. So, um, anyways, I just kept thinking about it and, you know, wondering, and I guess maybe a few months later, um, I decided again, that's it. I'm done. I'm not dying my hair anymore. And, um, we were going on a trip to Florida, a little family trip to Universal Studios. Um, and my husband said, Oh, why don't you just dye it? Cause you know, at this point it was the white skunk line. Right. And I said, okay. And, uh, I got highlights put in this time and they were light. I just, I don't know. I, and anyway, it was that trip that I said, truly this is it so I guess that was kind of that was three times um and I uh I did I let it go but this time I did something different and so I think this would be um my advice to you if you're thinking of doing the same thing I got um a product uh, L'Oreal Root Spray and I wish they had have had this years ago because it's amazing product but I was using before that the crayon and oh it was just it didn't work for me anyways um maybe it works for you sorry if it doesn't but I it doesn't work for me uh but the L'Oreal root spray is like an airbrush it's got you know a tiny little nozzle and so I thought to myself I can do this and actually it was really cool because I kept the brunette and the highlights and all that and then I just sprayed you know where you could see and sprayed the roots and I did that for about three months until I had a nice you know, kind of bit of growth. Um, and then I ended up going to the salon and getting some highlights, some more highlights kind of pulled through just to, to lighten it a little bit more, just so it wasn't such a like stark demarcation line. And um, at that point, uh, I let, I didn't spray it anymore. I didn't spray the roots. So I just let the, the silver show at that point. And it was funny. People, kind of wondered what I was doing I'm sure like it it was obvious but um I find right now that this day and age that we're in it like all the kids are doing it you know <laughs> so um you kind of can be funky with your hair do whatever and people don't really bat an eye um so I started growing it out and then as I got a little further people like I actually I, I'm a teacher so I actually had little kids come up to me and ask me why I painted my <laughs> my hair white and I said oh no that's my natural and and still to this day nobody believes me people think that I've done some kind of like balayage or something like that on my hair which I find humorous um yeah so anyway so this is my hair right now I I try to style it in different ways like I've kept it I've kept it short um oh yeah that's right after when I decided to get it uh, to grow it out. I, I had it all chopped off a little, like shorter than this. Um, but not a pixie cut. Cause I, I don't feel, um, that suits me and it's just not my, my personality. So I usually go like shoulders or, or longer. Um, so anyways, I, uh, I got it cut and then I just started growing it out for a while. And then I guess that's sort of the painful process. Cause you have those moments where you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, what am I doing? This is crazy. And you look like an old woman and all this and um, I just feel like uh, in our society um, gray is sort of synonymous with old and it's sad you know because I wonder I always wonder how many of us are just dying because we don't want to look old um, but I don't know I've actually I feel like I have had more compliments on my silver hair than I ever did on, on brunette. 
So I have a really important um, piece of advice if you're if you're going through your transition right now, and I actually got this from um, a woman named Annika von Holt, and she's got uh, all these pictures on Pinterest, and uh, she's got a blog and all this, and I suppose she's sort of my my silver hair muse, if you will. And um, anyway, she has this great blog post. And in it, she says, do not tone your hair, like do not tone your natural hair because it will take, like it will stay, it will take, it will turn it yellow. And I, when I went to a second time to go get my hair, um, lightened and then I had him tone it silver, it, uh, he toned my natural and I was actually really like upset because a lot of this, like you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but this is all blonde still, and a lot more of it would have grown out um, had it not been toned. So that's my piece of advice is like, just get to the point where you just let it grow. And um, so I'm natural to about, I can't really, you can't tell in this video very much, to about here. And then this is um, basically just blonde and it has to grow out and it's still dry and all that kind of stuff. Um, so underneath here, um, I'm still pretty dark, but I've got lots of gray, but this up here is very, very um, silver. So you've probably heard this before, um, but if you're ready for your transition to gray, um, my advice is to make sure you continue to style your hair nicely and, and not to let yourself go. I think um, there's a lot of rules out there and, you know, people think, Oh, you know, if you go silver, you have to change your makeup and you have to um, dress differently and all this kind of stuff. I don't agree with that. I think that um, you need to do you. And if that means, um, you know, continuing to wear the same styles or maybe updating your styles, I don't know. But um, you should just be comfortable with, with what you're wearing and how you're doing your hair. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my... Um, my video, I um, I just know that I really appreciated uh, all the women that have posted transitioning to gray videos. Um, I mean, the pictures are great too, but it's really nice to hear somebody talking about it. And um, I know myself too, I also appreciate to hear stories from um, women that are uh, a bit younger as well doing it because I, don't see anyone in my <laughs> community doing this that's the same age as me um, I've had I definitely have had a lot of women um, think that what I'm doing is bizarre but I think that a lot of people now are starting to think it's okay you know now that they're seeing it more and more grown out um, yeah I'm just me so <laughs> anyways I hope that that helped you out a little bit and um, yeah all right, take care. Bye. Hi there. I'm adding a little video at the end here. Um, it's uh, It's been 13 months now since I officially ditched the dye, and I'm, I'm past the one-year mark, so I'm pretty excited. Um, it does take a long time. I mean, it's funny because you think about it, and it, it's, life seems to go by so fast, but when you're dying or when you're growing out your hair, it <laughs> just, everything sort of slows down. Um, you can't really see it in this video, but um, I've got some, some blonde left and I'm looking forward to that growing out. And it's funny, you know, just looking at it underneath, like how dark, how dark it is. It's going to be really interesting to see if I actually grow my hair out, um, what it looks like. So I just wish you wish you well on your um, decision and give it a chance if you decide to to grow your hair out because um, it you'll have moments definitely where you think what the heck am I doing you have to be really patient and um, yeah so good luck bye.